welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the spicy burrito channel and our let's struggle through skyrim playthrough i am your humble host the burrito and this lovely specimen right here is who turds mcboobs and she is on her never-ending quest to become the greatest one-handed warrior in all of skyrim she's also working on a cure for ed and she wants to be the greatest chef in all of skyrim as well so let's help her do that uh we last left off outside of uh, what is this place called? Illinalta's Deep. Illinalta's Deep. Anyways, we uh, read this up if you want. We're basically working on the Black Star quest line. We have to take the Black Star back to Aranea, who's up at the Shrine of Azura, or to Nelikar, who's in, hanging out in uh, Winterhold. I forget. The Frozen Hearth? Or is that the inn's name? Whatever. Who cares? Uh yeah, we're going to turn it into Nelikar because the reward's much better. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and fast travel because that's a long fucking way. Uh, all the way up to Winterhold. Boom. Now, off camera, I don't think I did anything crazy. I just sold off. Um, let's just check. Why not? I don't think I picked up anything crazy. Oh, la, 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 la. yeah, we didn't we didn't pick up anything. I basically sold off, uh, and maybe I I might have bought a few potions and a few empty soul gems. That's about it. All right, let's head into the uh, frozen hearth. Ha! I was right. Cool. Better be right. I've been to Winterhold about eight million times. Now here's a woman I'm glad to see. Well, thank you very much. Glad to see you too. <laughs> All right, Nalakar, what's up? Stendar's mercy. You found it. Azora's star. Maybe this is my chance to make things right. I can finish Malin's work the way we had meant to before his madness. It would mean cutting the star off from Azura. Only black souls would be able to enter it once we finished. Why do they gotta only be black souls? <laughs> Were you racist? Uh, let's do it. Give me a minute to examine the star. I'll see what we'll need to do. These fissures and cracks aren't encouraging. Malin obviously was growing more desperate once he left the college. He did it. He actually managed to trap his huh. own soul inside the star, but it's falling apart. It needs more and more souls to sustain itself. The star is being used to sustain Malin's soul. I can't fix it while that fragment of him is inside. So we need to deal with uh, Malin somehow, don't we? Precisely. But it's not as simple as enchanting Malin away. He's put up barriers. Souls are only allowed in, not out. If we were to uh -oh. somehow send a soul inside the star, one that was ready to overpower Malin from the inside. I don't like where this is going. I could soul trap you, place you inside the star, then bring you back once Malin has been dealt with. I understand, I understand if you need some time to prepare. Let me know when you're ready. What of it? Okay, so this Until is going to be a time, hell of a hairy fight. Their um, Malin's a high-powered, high, high, high-powered high mage, and he'll summon like three Dramora mages or something like that, Tadric mages, uh, Dramora mages. Uh, man, it's going to be high, uh, crazy. So let's make sure we have everything ready. Uh, Berserker Rage first, of course. Frosties. We're going to launch Frosty. Oh, let's poison up our, we don't have a weapon equipped. Okay, hold on. All right, there we go. Let's poison it up. And I think that's about it. We want to kick in Berserker Rage. Or run after this guy and kick in Berserker Rage and... and Get him killed as fast as possible. Let's pop a veggie soup now. And let's quick save. 
So there might not be much commentary in this battle because it's going to be hairy, but let's go ahead and try it out. Might get a few ready. ticks on the uh, struggle meter as well. We'll find out. I did only one practice run of this I can send you into Azura's because I wanted to see ready. how good we are against mages, high-powered mages, and I beat them, but it was rough. I almost died, and I had to... Oh, yeah, let's make sure our potions are hotkeyed. Um, they are not. See, they, Skyrim always unhotkeys your potions for some reason. So we got to go into the menu. I don't know why I keep bothering hotkey them. See, I have them favorited, but they weren't keyed. I wonder if we should use plentiful instead of pounding out a bunch of these. What else do I have? A hundred points. Let's let's favorite these. I under Sorry, I should have done this off camera. Let's make that four for now. And Courier's been complaining about our customers. Alright, let's do this. What of it? I can send you into Azura's stuff. Okay. Stand very still. This might sting. First, I'll need to grab hold of your soul. Ah, <coughs> just now, go right ahead. Take a deep breath. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting hungry. Why? There's something different about you. This experiment of yours is over. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. Okay. I'm going to pull your soul out. Brace yourself. We managed to trap a soul there, too. Huh? Oh. Okay, calm down there, buddy. I wasn't here to fight you. Calm down. Come on, Nelikar. Snap out of it. All right, we did it. Well, yeah. Apparently, scared him off. I understand couriers. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? <laughs> okay, the game's a little confused. But Easy there. He'll, he'll the numbness will pass. All right, just don't go. strain yourself. We've done it. The star has been cut from Azura, and Malin's soul finally has some measure of peace, even if it is non-existence. Awesome. What do we do with it now? Now. You could use it for what we meant it for, using black souls for enchanting. The black star will never decay, but it can no longer hold the white souls of lesser creatures. You keep it. I'd sooner finally put this chapter of my life behind me. Congratulations. You've changed the fate of a Daedric artifact and lived. Okay, I believe he's wrong. From what mm -hmm. I've learned from uh, Major Slack there, I believe the game is wrong. Um, this thing will... Here, let's take a look at it. This black star here will uh, fill up with... What's it called? The black star. Durr. When you trap a soul, it'll fill up with any soul. Um, and then when you use it, use the soul inside it to enchant or recharge your weapon, the black star doesn't disappear. You can re refill it again, basically. From what I understand... Is the game meant this meant for this to only fill up with grand souls, black or black souls, or whatever they call them, grand souls when when you kill a human or like a high level creature? Um, that's what they meant it for. But there's they forgot to deprogram the fact that it can trap petty souls as well. Anyways, enough techno babble. 
they got it wrong uh, um, according to a source of mine a close source <laughs> uh, yeah he's not a close source but he according to the videos i've watched they got it wrong but who cares all we need it for is to trap grand souls and recharge our weapon so this will be our ch weapon recharger because it doesn't disappear if you recharge a weapon with a filled let's say this black soul gem it'll disappear and i'll only have one left you know what I mean? You destroy the, the soul gem. This one won't get destroyed. You can refill it. So, uh, enough of that babble. Well, let's head out. Well, yeah, let's head outside because they're, they're going to talk too much in here. Decide what... Well, of course. I knew This is the only reason I didn't want to go outside because there'd be a dragon. But Let's cast Frosty out. I'm staying out of it. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> He's just running away. Come on. I can't reach you from up there, buddy. I'm, we can get marked for death on him, though. Oh, uh, the price we have to pay for getting unrelenting force is to deal with these stupid dragons all the time. But. Whoa. I thought he was going to crash land there. Well, now my horse wants to get in on it. Can I get him? I might have been too far away. Where's Frosty at? Where did he run off to? I <laughs> got him again. Just in case if I didn't get him. Mark for death, if for those who don't know that that is making his uh armor deteriorate over time. Did he land? Where is this guy? This is the problem with not having ranged attacks. In fact, we should probably cast out Flame Girl just to weaken him down a little bit. I know it won't be much, but Um, <laughs> I'm pretty calm for, uh, pretty calm for, uh, having a dragon flying above our head. I'm just going to cast Bound Sword until he decides to land on the ground. Get some nice conjuration experience. <laughs> I just realized I didn't even use Berserker Rage in that melee fight. That's another problem too with Winterhold. There's he never he doesn't have space to land really, so he never does. He lands on top of buildings. Hey, quit attacking the horse. <laughs> we'll get him with Mark for Death again. Well, somebody's weakening. Oops. <laughs> I got him with Mark for Death again. Uh oh. <sighs> God, it's gonna be half the videos just fucking around with this dragon. Can we get her up yet or not? I don't have any magicka. Why is that? 
Oh no, I don't want that. That's why. I'm sorry, it's a bit of a struggle. Let's get another flame girl out there. Oh, he landed. Now he'll take off as soon as we get there. But that's why I'm not gonna kick him Berserker Rage till I get there. Oh he's fighting the horse. Three. Hey, Frosty. Well, that's Frost. Not Frosty. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay, that kind of <laughs> dug into my plans for this episode, but that's all right. The more Dragon Souls, the merrier, I guess. I love that mark for death noise. Hey! <laughs> Like the ancient legends, Dragonborn. Yeah, Dragonborn, that's me. All right. Now, let's take a look at our quest line because we have a little bit of an opening here. We have Under Sarthal, which is continuing the mages' quest line, the college's quest line. We, we're not going to do that. Hard answers. They want us to speak to Calcimo. I forget what this is about. I know, y y oh, you got to sneak into his museum and get a codex or something that can translate that journal. I don't know. And then the rest are just, where's the main quest line at right now? Oh, that's up in solitude. So... Um, I guess let's let's go ahead and keep going, chugging along in the Thieves Guild quest line. Hard answers, as opposed to limp answers. <laughs> I'll pause this up and read it, but I just explained it. We got to go to Calcimo and get a codex or what, break into his museum. But we're friends with Calcimo, so he might just let us in there. Uh, Markar's a hell of a way away. Look at this fast travel! Wow. Understone Keep is where Calcimo is. We've met him. A few times. I love this game basically revolves around uh, Calcimo. It's crazy. No, it's nothing. <laughs> what the hell? What are you guys all circle jerking down here? Get to your posts. Yeah, it's so weird how uh, Skyrim, like, they involve Calcimo so much for being such a I don't know, out of the way kind of character. Um, oh, they're reforming the uh, Dawn they're reforming the Dawn's God. That's not the guy. The other guys, <laughs> they're reforming the Dawn's God. Yeah. So, as I was saying, let me finish my thought here. Uh, yeah, Kelsimo. Okay, first of all, the Book of Love quest sends you to Kelsimo. This quest sends you to Kelsimo. Kelsimo also sends you a letter uh, for, through a courier. In fact, we have it still, I bet. Yep, letter from Kelsimo. Bring a dwarven mace to Kelsimo. <laughs> I love it. Who turks McBoobs? It was. It has come to my attention you may have recently acquired a certain dwarven mace from Riften. I'm not sure how such an object came to find itself resting there, but I've been trying to obtain one for my research. If you still have it, or if not, find another one. I would be most appreciative if you bring it to me here in Markarth. I will pay handsomely. Calcimo. Wow. Dwarven mace? Well... We're not going to give them the one we're using, that's for sure. But I bet you dollars to donuts, the smithy in Markarth will have one. And if not, she'll have the material to make one. <laughs> nice landing. She stuck the landing. Uh, a nail? Is that what you call it? In the Legion, we would have called it useless. Look how brittle the metal is. I, I'm sorry. I just... Well, the forge Man, gets that's so loud. Hot thought. You thought what? You would skip a step, not heat the metal all the way through? Useless. Now do it again. Bossy. Hey, Gorsa. Need a new blade? Gorsa. <laughs> Gorsa Gra Bagel. <laughs> uh, Gorsa Gra Bagel. Bagel. Um, what do you have for sale? Looking to protect yourself? Actually, I'm looking damage. for a dwarven mace to give to. Oh, that's going to cost us. Hold on. 
491. Here, let's see the Zenithar and the Thieves Guild Hood in action. Not the command center. Let me know if you need something. I got an axe here. Okay, it was 491. Yourself, or deal some damage. And now it is 368. So we're saving 120 whatever. Three? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Math isn't that bad. So let's pick that up. It's going to cost us 368. Let's see what Calcimo is going to give us for Back it. To making weapons. He'll probably watch him give us like 200. I'm guessing like 250 and we'll be 100, 118 in the hole after doing this. Everything all right? That's why they should have gave experience for turning in a lot of these little fetch quests and stuff like Fallout does. Because sometimes, you know, that's it's going to cost me just to complete this quest and you're not going to get any reward for it. We'll find out. Let's see. Uh, look, I'm very All right, busy, Calcimo, so listen up. Be important. I have a Dwarven Mace and it's cost me $368. You better give me over 368 You are? Very good. May I see it? Sure, take a look. Excellent. Very good. This is exactly what I need to complete a series of studies I'm doing on Dwemer craftsmanship and magical resonance. I simply must have this. I'll pay you double what it's worth. Um, oh, this is interesting. Also, hold on. Can I back out of this? Yes. Okay. What? I don't want to accidentally sell the Dwarven Mace we're using. So let's drop it. <laughs> this one. We don't want to accidentally sell this one. So let's let's just drop it for now. All right. Now let's talk to him. I have things to study. What is it? So you wish Oops. to master the arcane art. I hit the wrong button. Um hold on. Okay, so no, we were just talking about this Dwarven Mace here. You are? Very excellent. I simply must have this. I'll pay you double what it Okay. Worth. Should we try to shake him down? I mean, why not? It's Hooters. And we've done so much for Calcimo. Let's try to shake him down. I think you can do better than that. Well, I suppose important research nice. is worth every coin. All right, you have yourself a deal. How's double and a half its value in trade? 475, so we will be gaining 108. 107. Ah, uh, sure. I'm glad we could come to an agreement. <laughs> so we made 107 coin there. <laughs> 107 septums. All that work for 107 septums. That's why I'm saying they should give you just a, like a, a tiny bit, not a lot, of experience in that. Although we did pass a speech check, which gave us some experience. Anyways, I hear you're, you're the authority on ancient Falmer. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Falmer Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Ah, uh, perhaps I could view your work? <laughs> Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Well, Calcimo, we did get you laid. We also brought you some... I, I forget. We delivered something to you, and we brought you the Dwarven Mace you asked for, so... Uh, even And we slayed the spider for you. I've already provided you a key to the museum. You should consider it an honor if you are allowed to browse my collection. I'm sorry. But that's as far as my generosity extends. Oh, you dick. Well, let's grab our mace before we forget it. All right, hey, let's re-equip it. Make sure it's hot keyed. I need to clean this menu up. Because it's starting to get like way too overwhelming where 
All right. Oh, all the dwarven metal reappeared. Mm, interesting. Where is this museum? I forget. Is it over there? Or is this the Hall of the Dead? Uh, check your quest marker. It's telling me to go outside? That's not right. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. <sighs> oh yeah, it's just the, the opposite end of Understone Keep. This guy's gonna tell us we're not allowed here, but we can just... Can't believe I'm posted here. Even the beds are made... Just walk by him. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. <laughs> there it is. I don't think we've heard that in this playthrough. Uh, maybe we just unlocked it and they're going to say it now over and over and over again. Okay. So, uh, what are we doing? We're obtain. We're allowed in here. We need to get into. Oh, that's right. Okay. Are you guys? You guys aren't gonna attack, right? No. By sure, you're hauling around a lot of junk. Let's stop in at the army. So, how's everybody doing? What's everybody watching besides you know, besides this playthrough, which nobody's watching? Uh, I love watching. You know what I love watching on YouTube is vocal coaches reacting to uh, Jeff Tate from Queens Rikes singing. Okay, I think there's bad guys in here. I, I don't remember. Let's quick save. Kill any intruders on site. Okay. <laughs> Vocal coaches reacting to Jeff Tate from Queens, right? As I was saying, I love watching these, and they're usually beautiful women. And we <laughs> get all fucking wet over here and take hold of the flame, or eyes of a stranger, or silent lucidity, and it's and and they're just amazed. They're like, how can a rock band? have such a uh like great singer you know how, how can a rock how can someone like an operatic kind of singer you know it's so funny as hell it's like i it opens up a whole new world to them and then they get, it's just so funny to watch them get all fucking soaked down in their panties over jeff tate's voice although i, I must admit i get my i get my panties soaked over jeff tate's voice as well too <laughs> uh take a Hush now, don't you cry. <laughs> Wipe away that teardrop from your eye. <laughs> uh, that's my best Jeff Tate impersonation. I'm smiling next to you in silent lucidity. <laughs> oh, yeah, I watched this broad do all three. Take hold of the flame is the best though. When they hear him hit that opening fucking note or that Oh my god. You could just hear their the fucking just the juices just flow. Get all nice and moist. Alright. I don't think we're we're not a sneak thief. Like I said before, we're just gonna um and on that note, on wet panties, um we're just gonna go and kick some ass. I mean what how hard can these guards be? <laughs> Famous last words. Can I cast him inside there? <laughs> I can. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I just cast the dude through. Through the uh, locked door. Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot vegetable soup. I recovered. Come on, get stunned, you asshole. Let's poison him. I'm tired of this guy. <laughs> and he just falls. Dead. All right. How's Frosty doing over here? 
Can we get a few more bounce souls and or bounce swordsmen? <laughs> boom boom. Come on, buddy. All right, enough fucking around. I I don't have the key. I can't get in there. Does this guy? Oh, he has it. Look at all this good steel stuff we could be selling, but that's all right. Let's go kill this guy. They like to block. Oh, right across the fucking cheek. God damn. That had to hurt. Apparently, obviously, he's dead. All right, let's take the dagger. 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 <laughs> oh, it's barred from the other side? Hmm. All right, I don't think we're going to have too much trouble in here. This might just be fun to fuck around with. You know, casting. Oh, there's some uh, cilantro over there. I'll take that. I got a keen eye for cilantro. Keep a clear eye. Keep a clear eye. You're supposed to like sneak through here. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and your people. What? Say you in your what? Um. No. Uh shit. I guess we're gonna have to kill some Markarth guards, but that means when we go out into Markarth, they're gonna be fucking. Not impressed. You're not gonna. You're not gonna arrest me. I'll spare you for now. Okay. Son of, of course, Frosty's no. fucking this up. Ah. Okay, I gotta regroup here. Frosty's screwing this whole thing up because somehow we got a guard involved, and I can't. I gotta kill Frosty. Yeah. Get out of the way. This is all fucked up. I'm sorry. This is just all a fucking struggle fest. All I want to do is surrender to this guy. Come on. You're not going to, like... Do we continue on? Or do we just kill these fuckers? Enough. This ends now. Enough. Yeah. 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 You're really pissing me off, dude. Do your worst. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna, you're forcing me to kill you, dude. I'm trying to surrender, and you're not. Die, damn you! You're forcing me to kill you. See, look, I keep trying to surrender. He's, he's not buying it. All right, you're dead. I don't know how he got involved. I'm like so confused right now. So confused because I thought only wizards guards are back here and they're all right to kill. But these Markarth city guards, somehow this guy got involved. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens here. I bet you when I go back outside to Markarth, I, I'm going to be sur swarmed by fucking shit tons of guards. Um, What is this? Well, we'll take it. Uh, read this up if you want. I think it's just about this staff being a able to control dwarven spiders. Pause it. I'm not reading that much. Holy shit. Can we take it? We could steal it. We can steal that too. Oh. It was booby trapped. Maybe if the book told Maybe the book told me that. 
And they should carry a soul gem, yes. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, let's continue on. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking about. There's a lot of Dwemer Dwar 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 metal here. That There should not have been a Markarth guard back here. And if there is, he shouldn't be able to go hostile. Um, I think somehow that guard got caught up in the action and he shouldn't have. Oh well, it's over. I killed him. We'll have to pay deal with the consequences because that's who Turtz, that's who Hooters is. She's a kill first, loot later kind of thief. So. What do you think this? Help! In here. Two archers. Ah! Get out of the way. Frosty, you're just too big. Holy shit, I didn't realize how low on health I was. <laughs> how did I kill him with one handed when I used my shield shield to kill him? <laughs> oh shit. I hit her so hard she stabbed herself. Ooh, that, she took a nasty fall there. Doesn't matter. She, she's dead. She's dead, Jim. Probably end up dropping that. But looking for iron daggers, but it doesn't look like we're gonna get any. Let's continue on. I'm smiling next to you, you silent lucidity. What was that? Oh, it was just your friendly neighborhood. Who turds? I need some help. In yeah. Here. I need some help in here. There you go, Frosty. Block the door. I'll take care of the archer. Frosty the blowman. And he's successfully trapping these two. Man, what a fucking beast. I love it. I love it. I mean, I just plowed through all these fucking guys. See, as far as melee goes, nothing's gonna... Nothing's gonna fucking take us down. Oh, Iron Dagger. It's the mages that launch shit at you. That's who you gotta worry about. Man, look at all this Dwemer metal. We could be fucking ganking here. So yeah, that's what I've been watching on YouTube lately. Is someone there? Ah, <sighs> more of these assholes. Over here. Hurry. Huh? <laughs> what was that? Yeah. All right. Uh oh. I hear a mage. That's not good. I 
just bash you to death, buddy. What do we got going on here? I just want to get a sneak peek as we level up. Oh, yeah, this guy. We got to kill him. Got him. Got him. There's one more. Oh. Fucked it. Yep, pull out that dagger. That's the kiss of death. One. <laughs> oh, with an arrow in our... We, we pulled a fucking... Uh, oh, what's his name? God, I should know this off right off the top of my head. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, Boromir. <laughs> we got pelted by arrows, but we're still fucking whooping ass. One does not simply walk into Calcimo's laboratory and steal his notes. <laughs> uh, Horker, well, Natchez Zell. Ooh, I don't know if we have... A ring of smithing. I know we have gauntlets. That was clutch. Look at the fucking path of destruction we laid here. Alright, that calls for a quick save. What a battle. This has been fucking awesome. See, the Thieves Guild quest line is so much better when you're not fucking sneaking around and you're just going in there and kicking ass and taking names. It's just so much more rewarding. Normally, you wouldn't kill any of these guys. You would just try to sneak past them. But sometimes it just gets tedious and boring. Look at all this Dwemer metal we could be having. Twin secrets. Okay, I'm going to quick save. This might be an enchanting booklet. It is. Okay. Let's uh, quick reload there. <laughs> I don't want to pick up enchanting booklets. So. Oh, that is a... Uh, Smithing book, but we already We'll take that We gotta remember this place to get some uh, Metal in fact, I wonder if we should just go grab Fangdell right away and Oh, here's another thing we can sell to uh, Delvin yeah I've been looking for this little beauty beauty and then you activate this this takes you back out to the beginning That's the old Skyrim door because there's a dead body there so we're at the end here. Is this his lab? Yeah. Um, quick save again. I don't think there's any enemies in here, but I could be wrong. All right, this leads to another door, right? Yeah, this leads to Calcimo's place. Calcimo's... Calcimo's fucking penthouse. <laughs> Fuck... This is where it takes Feline and fucks her in the butthole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember this. As soon as we do this, they spawn, like, more of those wizards guards, but... Um, we need to get up there. How do we get up there? I forget how to get up there. God, there's so much Dwemer metal. I mean, now that we cleared this place, maybe we should, like, hurry up and grab Fingdell. Does this lead to Skyrim? No. We need a roll of paper, and we need some charcoal. And then there's some skill book? Another one? The Shivamaralium? Soul gems we can grab. Man, I just don't know if I could look at all this. Man. Dwemer metal. That's a lot of ingots we can form. We're definitely stealing these potions. I knew he'd have snowberries. Oh. oh. Is this guy alive? There's a chest. Hold on, did I get a wielding? Eminent wielding. Hm. 
All right, so I'm going to do a charcoal rub of this, and then three more guards are going to appear. Let's refresh our vegetable soup. Yeah, let's use a paralysis poison for the hell of it. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Excuse me. You won't get the best of me. Where is the big daddy? We want to poison his ass. There he is. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, Captain. Man, this is an action-packed episode. This broad, she ran away. I'll kill you if I have to. No, we can't take it. I believe that's it. <laughs> Finally. Um, let's go search that big daddy dude that I killed. Uh, he might have some goodies on him. Ah, uh, just steel plate stuff. And an iron dagger. Nice. Can we carry any of that? Uh boo. Yeah, I'm wondering if off camera I might grab Fendel and come right back here. In fact, I think I will. Because that's just way too much Dwemer metal to pass up for free. I mean, it's stolen, but... How do you get out of here? I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Calm down. I gotta get out of here. Oh, you just gotta go back out the front door? I See, see what, what, what? after you make that charcoal drawing... Um, they spawn the guards and they wa they walk like this, exactly like this. And you're up there. You made the charcoal drawing. You're supposed to sneak past them, come down here and go back out the front door. We just did it the easy way. Fucking whoop their ass. Stick a uh, <laughs> you bend over. I'll stick this mace straight up your ass. And then okay, so Markarth City guards might be hostile to us. We cannot fast travel from this location if I remember correctly. They won't let us fast travel from this location. And you can't... Somehow you, you can't jump over this either? Am, am I correct in assuming? You would be punctilious in assuming that? They've like strategically designed it. Oh no. I've never seen this before. Huh. Um. No. No, 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 no. Grab. Oh. Phew. Quick save. The problem with going down there is I think Markarth... Can we fast travel now? Um, where are we supposed to go with this? Winterhold? Huh, it's not showing up. Return to Enther. Show on map. <laughs> he is not here. Basically, we gotta escape this place. Without fast traveling. That's not good because... Oh, I can fast travel now. Hmm. Okay, they updated it. 
now our quest marker has moved to Winterhold, so that's where we're going to head. I'm not falling. Oh, <laughs> I was falling. Okay. Man, this episode's almost over, isn't it? Lots of action, though. You can't blame, you know, you can't argue with that. Lots of action. You know, I've had, uh... Hold on, let me lay a smoke. I appreciate you guys. Let me have my smoke break there. Oh, that's good tobacco. That's good tobacco. Let's put these away. Now, I was saying, um, you won't find me doing much like topical humor if I if I, or talk about topical things, um, like in the news and stuff because, uh, I am way ahead of you guys. <laughs> As I, if I continue at my pace right now of posting one video a week like i'm this is episode 21 i believe um i just posted episode 10 so if i talk about what happened this week like yesterday um it'll be two and a half months old by then. <laughs> if i continue at this pace for example i'm just gonna say this is october 20 something i don't even know the exact date uh, it's early in the morning, so I, I, I don't even pay attention anymore to the dates. They all just run together. Um, for example, Alec Baldwin just shot somebody and killed him on the set of a movie. Now, by the time you see this, you can be like, holy shit. Is he they just now realizing that? But yeah, it happened. Alec Baldwin killed somebody. <laughs> the, the shadow knows. The shadow knows. Who, what evil lurks in the hearts of men? Yeah, he killed somebody on uh on the uh, set of a movie, an accident. But yeah, so now you'll you'll be able to see how topical, like how if I talked about topical stuff, how it wouldn't really translate very well because this will probably air. Well, let's just say two and a half months down the road, it'll be what late November, late December. <laughs> It'll be mid January, and you'll be like, "Is he talking about Alec Baldwin shooting somebody back in October?" <laughs> yeah, a fucking idiot shot somebody. So much for those union dues; they really pay off, don't they? And I love all the jokes that are going around. Like Alec Baldwin reviews of the movie he's working on that he shot somebody is. <laughs> His uh, his his performance is uh, <laughs> I I can't even think of one. Uh, there was a bunch of jokes going around online and stuff though. His performance will blow you away. That's what it is. <laughs> Alec Baldwin's performance will blow you away. Uh, that's great. All right, let's get back into the back, fucking eh? and how story here. <sighs> Was there something else? Um, this should help translate Gallus's journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. You rub one out. Expected notes. Yeah, I rubbed one out. It's quite the tale. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Hmm. This, this guy's intriguing. A, what you reading Highly for? Disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enthia? Anything about the Nightingales? Mm, uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. 
Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulcher. Shadows preserve Sepultura? Us. So it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulcher. What is it? What, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Antha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Antha. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Thank God she doesn't have to say a word. We don't want to listen. <laughs> listen. Okay. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the guild. This poll is they talking. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Thank you, Enther. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden and you find yourself in Witterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, awesome. and I'll see what I can do. He'll buy stolen items. And I think he'll buy anything. Not positive. Um, do we want to know any of this? Not really. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. All right, Anther, that's enough. Don't Shut up. To Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Uh, Gallus's journal mentioned the Twilight Sepultura. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Why does it require that type of protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Mercer, Mercer had a nocturnal emission and defiled his bed sheets. <laughs> Thieves in temples, it just doesn't add up. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time, you'll understand what so I mean. This chick bald. Uh, I'd understand better if less mystery was involved. As a nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the sepulchre. I know the guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Uh, very well. We do it your way for now, but Hooterts is always ready to break out the fucking mace. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. <laughs> He's yawning ready, back there. Meet me at the Ragged Flagon. Oh, back to In the, the Ragged Flagon, huh? I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. What is it, a bow? I'll put it to good use. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. Oh, a nightingale blade that put us overweight. Wonderful. Ah, uh, we can drop some shit, though. Oh, I think I bought a carry weight necklace, but it ain't worth... I mean, we got some junk here. Leather boots. I believe we have a couple of dwarven... And, oh, the spider control rod versus the orcish bow. Let's get rid of that. That'll do it. There's a random chest down here. So, we have... The mages don't let us go in the A car. traffic jam here they with said a it's not safe chatty anymore. little brat. Okay. Come on. Let's go. We got people to do. Taking places me up to on see. my... <laughs> and third. Taking me up on my offer, eh? All right, and third two times. Okay, so we have to head back to Riften. Just glad all that business with Mal... That uh, dragon fight at the beginning of this episode really put a cramp on the time. That sucks. I wanted to get more done. I can't believe this episode's already pretty much over. Uh, there's one thing we can do in Riften real quick. So let's head there. Oh, so nice to be out of the fucking snow. Um, what did I want to do in Riften? <laughs> and now I forget. Oh, it's hell getting old. Um. Ah, I forget what it was. Huh. 
Huh. Well. Oh, the Willandria stuff. Yeah, let's do that. In fact, that's why I fast traveled to Miss Velky. We have all three of her items that she lost throughout Skyrim. One we found in Iverstead, one we found in Winterhold, and one we found here. Ask that you maintain respectable distance from her. Here she is, this times. scatterbrained broad. I Did we have an appointment? No. Uh, I have all your... delivery? I can't remember. I have all your items for you. Items? What items? Let me see those. Hmm. I'm not sure how you managed it, but these are exactly what I need to start my next set of experiments. Wonderful. Well, at least allow me to reward you for your uncanny foresight. The uncanny X-Men. And she gives us a scroll of Blizzard. A scroll of Firestorm. One more. Scroll of Mayhem. A scroll of Harmony. <laughs> Which I think we're... A scroll of Kyle to Arms. So she gave us a bunch of scrolls. Okay. It's like adds up to a thousand gold. Now we and while we're here, let's just sell them right back to her. If she buys them. Did I put those sp What do you need, my friend? What do you got for sale? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. She will buy them back, but first let's buy her empty soul gems while we're here. Common lessers and petties are the best ones to buy. Then we can sell her back the Didn't she give us more than these? Here, have the spider control rod. Do you have... Are, do we qualify for... No, we don't. Man, I can't wait till that comes up. Frosty's just getting too annoying. Okay. Now, where did I put those spiders? Why didn't... Why didn't she want to buy the other scrolls? Blizzard. Call to arms and harmony. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why that happened. Anyways, that's the end of the episode. We're gonna we're heading towards that storm astronaut because, as I was saying, Frosty he's great, but he just gets in the way way too often. He's so gigantic. To stay alive? And the storm astronaut okay. will will do melee, and the storm astronaut will do uh, ranged, as opposed to flame, which basically just does ranged, and Frosty, which basically just does melee. So we'll have the best of both worlds with the storm astronaut. We can quickly level up here. I think our health is doing fine. Let's go. Let's put some more into Magicka. Do we qualify for Adept? Yes. Frosty will be cheaper now. I probably shouldn't have spent that so hastily. I probably should have done some research. But I wasn't in the mood to think for like an hour here. Um, all right. I want to thank you all for watching the Spicy Burrito channel and our Let's Struggle Through Skyrim playthrough. We are pounding through the Thieves Guild quest line. This is Who Turks McBoobs here. <laughs> Whoa. Who Turks McBoobs, and I am your humble host, The Burrito, signing off. Now I'm going to go watch some uh, vocal co coaches get their panties wet. <laughs>